Hey there guys, how you doing? Um, so this Beer at Jailbreak came out two days ago, I think. And, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, you can watch my other channel video to find out. Anyway, um, the Spirit Jailbreak came out two days ago, and I decided that I would make a video showing you how to use it. Um, this Jailbreak is for all devices that are out, all the iPod uh, devices, and all the iPhones, and all the iPads. So, and it's also for all um, 3.2 firmware, which is what the iPad uses, 3.1.3, which is the newest for the iPhone and the uh, iPod Touch. Um, and it won't work for 4 because, you know, they're not going to waste a jailbreak on that. But anyway, or an exploit. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do, I, I, I'm doing this for you guys. I am restoring my iPod to uh, 3.1.3. It's already been jailbroken, but I'm going to do it again just to show you guys how to do it. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is an untethered jailbreak. You people have been waiting for this, and it's just finally going to be it, which means every time you uh, restart your phone, it'll already be jailbroken. You won't have to connect it to the computer. So you people with um, newer boot ROM 3Gs and the 3GS, no problems with uh, untethered jailbreaks. Anyway, so this video should help you out, and um, let's get started as soon as this gets done. Alright guys, now to do this you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need the newest iTunes, uh, which is this version right here. It's going up, it's going up. Anyway, or, or the one that was before this. So anyway, after you have that, you're going to need your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad to already be activated, which means you're going to either have to... Um, activate with AT&T or if it's an iPod you just hooked it up or an iPad just hook it up to your computer and it will be activated. Uh, this means that it does not have activation which means that you people with T-Mobile are kinda out of luck unless you get activated with uh, an AT&T person's SIM card. So anyway let's get started. You're gonna need to download the Spirit Jailbreak which can be downloaded from the uh, link in the under bar. Um, so after you download that just make sure your uh, iPod's connected to the computer. As you can see, here it is for me. Or your iPhone, iDevice, I should say. So anyway, we're gonna run Spirit. I'm just gonna run this. And I actually did something that will mess this up just to show you a point. So, click Jailbreak. All right, apparently um, I didn't mess it up. There were people complaining that they had a problem with their uh, phone. And uh, what you can do to solve that, if you do get an error, you go to Properties, Compatibility, run this program, Compatibility Mode, and select Windows 95. And that should solve your problem. But if you get no errors and you didn't have to do that, your iPod, iPhone, everything should be jailbroken. Um, I can't show you right now, but I do have Cydia installed on my um, iPod, and it was that easy. So I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave it in the uh, comments section, and uh, I will try to answer it for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, give this a thumbs up. Goodbye.